Pedro Neves from meetpedroneves.com. How often do you find yourself asking this question? I wish I knew how to succeed. Stay tuned, I'm gonna share with you four simple steps that can help you to get to your success. A lot of times it's the perception that we have that blocks us, that holds us back from moving forward. Let me start with a game plan. Have you written down a game plan? Have you written down your goals? Have you written down where do you wanna be in three to five, 10 years? So if you haven't, I actually suggest you start doing that. And a game plan will help you reach those goals. Now, you don't want to have a game plan of five years. You want to have a game plan, for example, between 30 and 90 days. And you can set up a 90-day game plan. And then what you should do is break it down in a 30-day increments. And you put down specific goals for each of the 30 days. And within that, you develop a method day of operation. You develop a morning daily routine right? Write it down. I know because I actually just been, I'm going through this and I'm putting it down and uh, it's sometimes it's, it's a lot easier than what you think. Once you actually have it down, you see it, it's visualized and you're like, okay, that's not bad. And when you do it and you keep doing it, it actually becomes a lot easier than you think. Then you be consistent. Stay consistent to your game plan. All right. So another tip for you is determine the skill. Important because we, we want to reach to our goals. We want to we want to accomplish X, Y, and Z. But the bottom line is, what kind of value, what kind of skills do you have? And if you don't have them, wouldn't you think it's a good idea to start figuring out how you're going to get them? So who are you surrounding yourself by? What are the things that you're learning? What are the things that you're doing every day to allow you to reach your game plan, to reach success, right? And success is a very broad um, statement. What is your success might be different from what's my success, right? Your success could just be, you know, you want to exercise every single day. And that's fine, right? Uh, so everybody has a different uh, uh, perception of success. That's how it should be, right? Uh, now, so determine the, the level of, of skill that you have, right? But also ask yourself, where, where are my weaknesses? Write them down, and then we improve there. What are you learning? What are you reading? Uh, are you, what are you listening to? So develop a daily method of operation that allows you to develop your skill. All right, I hope that's helpful. Keep track of your success and your failures. That's number three. Keep track of your success and your failures. So here's the thing. Most people don't celebrate their successes. And, and it could be insignificant for most people, but... For example, you just if you just sign up a, a business partner or you just made a sale, right? I mean, that's important. You should celebrate that. If you haven't done it, you should embrace it and celebrate that success because if you can do it once, you can do it 10 times. You can do it 100 times. You can do it 1,000 times, right? So celebrate your success and recognize your failures because how are you going to improve your success, your wins, if you don't recognize the failures? No one will win. No one will reach their goals and become successful unless they fail a bunch of times. You got to fail and you got to get up, right? You got to fail and you got to get up. It's the ones that get up the most that win the most. So I hope that's helpful. And number four, keep playing until you win. Don't quit. Now, most I hear this all the time. Don't quit. Just stay in the game. And that's, and that's a really, that's important, but that's not enough. You can pretend to be in the game, but that is not enough to success, to succeed, right? You gotta, it's like going to the gym, right? You are in the game, right? You're in the game and going to the gym. You can, you can go to the gym, but you can just walk around and not do the exercises, not do what it takes to lose the weight, to look good, to, uh, to feel better, to become healthier, right? So, it's just staying in a game, it is not enough. You gotta do the activities. You gotta follow your game plan. 
So guys, I hope these steps are helpful. I hope that you got some value from this. Feel free to comment, share, and like this video. And here's what I uh, just put together for you. If, if you want to get more responses from people on social media, from people you're trying to talk to, you're sending out messages, not getting returns on your messages, you're struggling from, from, a traditional, uh, from your traditional business and to online business, and you want to have uh, some icebreakers that will help you talk to, my pe talk to more people, eventually make more sales and have more people join your business. I just put together 10 uh, social media uh, icebreakers that absolutely uh, rock uh, your business. Uh, response and uh, build instant report uh, I know because I did it uh, it really helped me and I want to share this with you I want to give you value to you so go ahead click the link now and, and put those strategies into action and you got to check out number 10 because number 10 I actually show you I give you my own example exactly how I was able to make make report within a matter of minutes enjoy them I'll see you in the next video